Well, hi, everybody. I'm News 8 Chief Meteorologist Pete Delkis here at the uh, ABC affiliate in Dallas, Texas, WFAA. I want to give you an update on uh, the tropics. Uh, we do have, we do expect a busy tropical season. And as you take a look at the, the forecast that uh, the National Hurricane Center put out not too long ago, the forecast uh, for this uh, season for us, uh, the name storms 13 to 19, the average is 12, so above average there. Hurricanes 6 to 10, where the average is, is 6, so an above average forecast for hurricanes and certainly an above average forecast for majors. The average is three. Uh, the forecast has three to six. So yes, a 60% chance of above normal activity as we head into this upcoming hurricane season. So these are the names for the 2020 hurricane season. We've already seen Arthur, uh, Bertha, and now uh, Cristobal right now is uh, down. Uh, it's really in the northern sections of uh, Guatemala and the southernmost portion of the Yucatan Peninsula, of course, in Mexico. Dolly, uh, Edward is next, Faye, then Gonzalo, and then so on as we move through the upcoming season. So we do expect a busy season. The most likely area for June tropical formation is in the Gulf of Mexico and along the east coast of Florida, just due to the, of course, the warm water. And you can see when uh, activity does develop, uh, it, that's the, those arrows that we have there are the most likely paths of, uh, of the, the systems that move in the more likely area of development is just on the, just to the west of Florida and uh, the far eastern portion of the Gulf of Mexico. Then as we move into July, the formation areas expand a bit, not only the Gulf, then into the more northern portions of the Caribbean, and then, of course, the, uh, throughout the, 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 the Bahamian chain in the east coast of Florida, and then down into the, uh, the, the Lesser Antilles. So, and then as we move into August, you can see that everything's in play at that point, almost the entire Atlantic Basin during the month of August, and really the same thing during the month of September. So uh, we are expecting an above average season. Now, with all of that said, and you look down into the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, you see Cancun and then off to the to the west and southwest of Cancun. There it is. Our tropical depression it was tropical storm Cristobal now right there in the northern portion of uh, Guatemala. We are watching this system. It's weakened to winds of 35 miles an hour. It's 365 miles west southwest of Cancun. It's just kind of drifting around. The movement, though, is east southeast at three miles an hour. These are the uh, the spaghetti plots, all of the models, and look, they're they're very consistent as they move them right through the central portion of the Gulf of Mexico. It's interesting uh, how they're just so tightly uh, centered into Louisiana. Uh, I don't know that that's necessarily great for Louisiana, but that does give us a, a, a higher level of confidence, even though we're looking at a system making landfall late, late Sunday night or into the day on Monday. So we're several days away before that happens. But at least our confidence with the track is a bit higher, uh, given the model of consistency right there. Now, what about the forecast max wind gusts with uh, Cristobal when it makes landfall? in central Louisiana. Of course, you look at the eye of the storm and then off to the east. That's where we always have the strongest of uh, the winds. We are looking at uh, very strong winds, 55 to 70 there along the central uh, coast. And then, of course, as the system moves inland, the winds will diminish, but very strong winds and quite a bit of rain. We're looking at anywhere from two to six plus inches of rain as this system uh, moves toward uh, uh, the U.S. coast. But again, it won't be till the end of the weekend. It's really late, late Sunday night or Monday morning right now when this system is expected to make landfall. We'll have a much better handle on it as it emerges from uh, land and then moves out into open water. We'll have a much better handle on the movement. They're a little more, e they're easier to track at that point. This is a European model. You can see a bit of an eye right there with it as it moves across uh, the Gulf of Mexico and then moves around six, seven o'clock Monday morning is right now when the European model has it making landfall there in the central coast of Louisiana. And then some of the precip moves into uh, uh, East Texas and North, North Texas. Monday uh, afternoon into Monday evening, this is seven o'clock. You could see a, a low chance of some rain in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The farther east you go, the higher your rain coverage will be. And then as we head into Tuesday, it's all out of here by after Tuesday morning. Northeast Texas could see a little rain Tuesday morning if the European model is right, and oftentimes it is. Uh, that's generally the, the model of choice, although it's not always correct, but nonetheless, that's the way it looked. Now, here's the official forecast track. It has it moving into the Gulf of Mexico, leaving land and moving into the Gulf of Mexico Saturday morning. Winds on Sunday afternoon, uh, tropical storm winds of 60 miles an hour. 
landfall would be uh, Monday morning uh, to the west of New Orleans, although I will tell you it's taken more of a westerly shift today than what we were focused in on yesterday. But again, the storm right now does not move into North Texas. We will be on the west side of it, the dry side of it, along the path, and then to the east is where the heaviest of the rain will be in the higher threat of severe weather and certainly flooding. So that's the latest right now with, with what is at this moment tropical depression. Crystal ball. It will become a tropical storm uh, as we head through the next about the next 48 hours or so. We'll keep an eye on this and keep you updated. Keep it right here on this YouTube channel for the latest tropical updates.